Hiya, my name's Hannah. Um, if you haven't visited my channel before, I've made a couple of recipe videos which I would love to be getting back into now in the new year. I just haven't got around to it yet. In this video, I just want to pick up on a few things that I noticed throughout the month. So first off, I want to say how amazing Veganuary actually is, like the website itself. Like I'm really into uh, website and design and stuff like that. So I really appreciated like how easy it was laid out. It was just like clear information. There was no jargon. It didn't make you feel stupid. It even actually had like a page where you could see the myths. So like people who would go there with these like concepts of like what people had already been saying about veganism and stuff like that. There's a lot of resources, a lot of places where you could find um, meals, plans, you know, separate into different categories. There was one place in particular on the website where you could see where you could go out to eat and it, they just did it so easy. You should click on the restaurant you wanted to go to and it showed you exactly what you could have, what was vegan, what was available in that restaurant. The uh, starter kit for people who've never been vegan before, this is their first time, like really informative, really, really good. Just before joining the Veganuary newsletter thing, I was already vegan, but I just wanted to get an insight of what it was like because it, I haven't been vegan that long, it's not even been an entire year yet. It's still fit relatively new, so I was hoping that I could personally pick up some hints and tips and tricks as well myself, and I definitely did. So I would definitely like to give a massive thumbs up to Veganuary. I just think their newsletters, emails, website, fantastic. So many believe that Veganuary becomes the latest new trend. And in this article from The Telegraph, it states that the amount of people following a vegan diet has risen from 1,500 in 2014 to 52,000 people in 2018. And I think that is a massive achievement. So according to the Vegan Society, there are now 542,000 vegans in the UK, more than three times as many as a decade ago, almost half our age between 15 and 34. So even though there's definitely a lot of good to cover in this video, I'd really like to pick up on some of the negatives as well because, you know, you can't look at something in an open-minded, like an objective way without, you know, considering there has been some negativity around it. So, you know, with the good headlines, there have been the opposing negative headlines, you know, there's been things like criticising vegans as instilling their views on people and then these comments then are repeated in the comment section on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Um, which, you know, kind of had that, like, snowball effect where arguments just pff, exploded, where I don't like participating in online controversy, online confrontation, online arguments, nothing, no thank you. Um, I'd rather have a discussion face-to-face -face where, you know, people's expressions and people's views are much more clearly th through body language, not just through words that people can interpret in the complete wrong way, which definitely happens, like, on these comment sections. So one of the headlines this Veganuary um, was a school that had pigs uh, because they wanted to teach the children from farm to fork, you know, where the food comes from. But obviously there was a lot of negativity and complaints from the parents asking for the pigs to be given to a sanctuary rather than to be sent to slaughter. So the idea so is that you have, you have some pigs at the school and the pupils care for those pigs, look after them, help to rear them. And then at what point do those pigs get sent away? And do they come back in any way? Uh, they're sent away after about six months. And yes, well, they come back as meat products, yes, which are served in the school kitchen and served uh, and sold through the school and through local community butcher shops. So, and then this creates some like massive media outburst where a petition was happening, you know, even Piers Morgan was having his views. So for example, Piers Morgan clashes with vegan who backed petition to stop school rearing pigs. On Tuesday the 23rd of January, Good Morning Britain, Piers and co-host Susan Reid spoke to the head teacher of Priestland School which received the petition calling it to stop rearing pigs for meat. The head teacher explained, we're trying to help children understand where their food comes from. Which I understand, you know, I, I think it's really important that we teach children and adults where their food comes from but, you know, is this the way to do it? You know, is this the truth that they want to know? So then vegan Vincent Cook said, what the school is doing is actually selling them a lie. 97% of pork isn't from happy pigs being cared for by children. It's in, not even in farms, it's in buildings, in factories, where those pigs will never see daylight. So basically he's contradicting the fact that the school is trying to say that we're trying to teach them about what really happens because that isn't actually what happens in the real world. They're not happy pigs, you know, this doesn't actually happen. It's not all, you know, 
rainbows and it's not like that. And then this is where Piers Morgan comes in and said, no one's forcing the will of the meat eaters onto you and your family, but you want to instill your views onto everyone else. That came from Piers Morgan. I'm just gonna leave that there. Another thing that came up during the month of Veganuary was Channel 4. Um, and I want to know what you think. Do you think this is an insult or a joke? So basically, on Countdown, um, when they were doing the scrambling of the words, and then the professional, or whatever she is, she said... Um, there is a US slang term for a foolish or contemptible person or toilet paper, and that's arse wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Channel 4 decided to put on their Instagram page a meme where it said when your friend decides they want to go vegan and then, you know, the word. Now I, that's my humour, like I think that's like funny. I don't, I didn't take it as an insult because, you know, I don't know, I don't know why. I just, that stuff makes me laugh. Um, but I can see why people did get offended um, and then all of a sudden the comments just blew up and you have the whole, you're instilling your views respect me you know that kind of thing and it's just another example of you know things being blown up at portion but you know to me it's like any news is good news like any you know media what's the what's the phrase it was like any publicity is good publicity so just even seeing the word vegan like to me was like a win even though they were kind of being insulted and stuff i still thought it was a joke but then you know i don't know what do you think do you think that was insulting were you offended did you see it or like is this, if this is new information to you, like what was your initial response? Um, but yeah, but I think that is enough about the negativity. But there was definitely plenty of good things to talk about. So one thing I did notice was the vegan ranges in supermarkets just like exploded. It was like, there was new products, there was new milks, there was new fake meats, there was new this, new that. And not only that, but like the advertisement on social media, like on my Instagram, it had like Waitrose making like vegan foods and then like Sainsbury's selling new like whole jackfruit barbecue stuff I was just like this is amazing and also the fact that they consider Veganuary as an actual important you know part of their calendar you know like in marketing you've got like Christmas you've got like Mother's Day you've got Easter where a lot of their marketing is surrounded by these big events throughout the year and the fact that they've considered Veganuary as an important event because these things don't like happen overnight you don't have someone sitting there going oh like veganism is like seems to be a trend so let's just put some things on our shelves like I'm sure like common sense these things take like weeks and months in preparation like just to like create the packaging and to create the product and then to like introduce them into the new range and the new line and where they're gonna go in the shop and everything like that it's a massive massive job so the fact that they have considered veganuary as an important marketing calendar month thing is a real big win they they will basically put on their shelves whatever you will give them money for so for example Sainsbury's have announced a new vegan range to be released today and Aldi will be releasing new lines later this week describing the decision as more of what you want so the fact that Veganuary has been so huge, over, and not, not even just this month, but for the last couple of months, the topic of veganism has like risen, that these big, huge shops and restaurants are actually going to start listening, and it's going to make it so much easier for people to be vegan. And then lastly, to finish off, um, something I've noticed, which has been really nice, is the amount of support people have been getting who have been doing Veganuary, the amount of support they've been getting on Facebook groups. So I'm a member of um, Vegans UK. It's like my favourite thing to do when I'm like bored and just like browse through people putting on like really cool stuff, what they've been eating, questions they've been having, just, like quite nice debates and stuff like that. And what I've noticed is that every time somebody has commented saying, I'm doing Veganuary, this is, you know, my experience so far, this is what I've been doing, this is what I've noticed, they had like so many likes. And then when I was scrolling through there um, last night, which was the last day of January, um, I saw so many statuses saying, um, just because Veganuary is finishing doesn't mean this journey is going to end. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to continue. And like there was just so many positive statuses where they were like, I'm never looking back. This is the way forward to me. This is the way I want to live now. And there was again more messages of encouragement, more messages messages of congratulations. You know, just the stuff that I think people really need because living in a world where like veganism isn't the the thing yet. It's not like the norm. I think having these groups, having these little pockets of communities online are just something that 
should be like congratulated and definitely applauded. So there we go guys, that was my short little look back through Veganuary, what stood out to me personally. Um, why don't you leave in the comments what stood out to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed and if you enjoyed these kind of sit down videos just let me know in the comments and I'll do a lot more. Um, so stay tuned for more recipe videos coming very soon. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!